I'm Astrological Geek. I once was silent, but now I speak. And I decided to do, <laughs> interestingly enough, I put these bas I put these baskets back here, which are gone now, to try to break up the fact that I the curtain doesn't actually meet the wall and try to just fix it. And now, because of the way I have the camera situated, I don't even need it. I don't even need any of the flowers or anything. So it's rather interesting. But just, <laughs> I decided there's another basket that needs fixing badly. So I decided why not go ahead and fix it on this video. Not only that, but it would help. This visual will help differentiate this video from the others, at least for me in editing. So there we go. So that's why I'm doing all this. So I am going to be doing this while I speak. So just to let you know. Um, let me see. There we go. Okay, so here's something that I didn't know. And, you know, and by the way, with all these videos, go ahead. It doesn't matter what video it is. Look it up. I'm more than happy to be proven wrong. Um, I'm more than happy to be proven that life isn't that bad. But, you know, what really matters is if, if what I'm speaking of happens to even one person, even just one person, then that's one person too many. Plain and as simple as that. It, it shouldn't happen to even one person. So, back at it. Um, here's something that I didn't know, and which really just dropped my jaw. Right, I mean, all this stuff. I didn't know any of this stuff until I started looking into it. And I, I don't want to go into it, but working with homeless people and, you know, dealing with these subjects and these categories. Uh, for years, I was quite scared to, and I didn't want to, and rightfully so. And I'm just, I'm glad that I'm being educated now. And I am very, very much a homeless person's rights activist now, simply because I didn't know these things. And I just always thought that America as a country, like even the southern states, I thought that the southern states were better than this, even though they thought and felt entirely differently than the north, you know, and the east and everything. I, I thought that the whole of the U.S. was better than this. And I'm, I am really, I've been shocked and flabbergasted to find out that I'm significantly wrong. <laughs> I'm not just wrong, I'm significantly wrong. So that's 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 something very upsetting, you know, very upsetting to learn. And the other upsetting thing is this right here, and this might actually be a big part of the reason why they took homelessness off the federal website um, entirely. They just they just wiped all their info entirely. Turns out that the majority of homeless people in this nation, and I can guarantee you it grew by a lot in 2020, but the majority of homeless people in this nation are working. They have jobs. They are working. They are usually working at least one job, one eight hour a day job. Let that sink in. In America, you can work one eight hour a day job, seven days a week, and not have enough money to even pay rent. You can not have enough money to pay for food. And this has nothing to do with, you know, oh, they were bad with their finances. Oh, you know, they have bad credit. You know, oh, well, yeah, they were convicted of a felony, you know, for whatever, you know, because they were sleeping on the street, of course. No, no, no. This is, a lot of the times, this is the newly homeless. A lot of the time, and this, and but it's stretching, it's expanding, so that it's not necessarily the newly homeless. Um, and these are people who are literally having to sleep in shelters, who are literally having to sleep on sidewalks and whatnot. Um, 
Now, usually when you hit the sidewalk and you can no longer get your hands on a shower, you can no longer get your hands on whatever else it is you're needing to present the idea of not being homeless, um, that's when you end up losing your job and it ends up getting quite a bit worse from there. But at least uh, the, the furthest I've seen this stretch is about three to four years. But there are people who are homeless. And interestingly enough, depending upon the place, um, there are people who have actually been homeless and who managed to somehow get their hands on a job, even though they're homeless and they are working, you know, and this, these are areas where they have a subway. Um, it's not usually out in the country here where I'm living, but they're, you know, they're able to get their hands on some kind of, you know, menial job and they're able to work it even though you know they don't have a place to sleep they don't have a guaranteed shower they don't have guaranteed you know when are they ever going to wash their clothes are they ever going to wash their clothes probably not you know if you can't get if you can't even find a place to sleep if you can't even find food then washing your clothes is going to be the last thing on your mind you know, just getting a shower and food in your mouth and a place to sleep is going to be your main priority. You know, having your clothes washed is really down on the list. And it's probably not even going to necessarily cross your mind unless it has to cross your mind. So all of these things are major factors. But the majority of homeless people, especially since 2020, 2019 and 2020, they are working eight hours a day, seven days a week at whatever they can find, literally. And they're not necessarily living, you know, I don't know how to call it other than glamorously homeless. They're not living in their car. They're not living in a van. They're not living in a bus. They're not living in a camper. They're not, you know, they are literally trying to get a place at the local shelter. They are literally trying to find a safe place on some sidewalk or some meridian to hide out just for four hours just so that they can sleep for a short amount of time. And that's another major problem with being homeless. You just, you constantly have to keep on walking and moving. You're never allowed to sit. You're never allowed to lay down because that's called loitering. If you even stand in a place for too long, that is considered loitering. Loitering laws. It may be a misdemeanor, but still it's it's leveled on the homeless population. If you walk around in, you know, literally an Armani suit, you know, and you smell good, you're probably not going to be arrested for sitting on a park bench. You're not going to be arrested for, you know, doing something as out of the ordinary as laying down on a picnic blanket. But you take someone who's in rags and they lay down on a picnic blanket, they're automatically arrested for loitering. They sit down on a park bench trying to read a newspaper and they're automatically, you know, oh, that's a misdemeanor, you're loitering. You're, you know, causing a public nuisance. You're, you know, just all kinds of insane things. And this is very, very, very upsetting. These are not stories. These are not lies. These are people's personal accounts and experiences with the cops, with the law, with going to court, <laughs> which is a kangaroo court in this nation, no matter what court you appear before, it is really terrible. One of the big problems with this is the for-profit and private prisons and jails that are across this country. That is why they are so bent on arresting the homeless population because that is more free slave labor. And that is more being able, literally these for-profit and private prisons, they make deals with the states and with the counties where if the state and the county doesn't keep that prison or that jail full with as many people as possible, the state or the county has to pay them. The state or the county has to pay them. Sorry, I'm looking at my microphone. I'm looking anywhere and everywhere but my camera. So that's, that's rather difficult for me. <laughs> 
Because I just, I want to look everywhere and, uh. So, yeah. <laughs> so, <sighs> this video was really supposed to be a lot shorter than all the others. Um, and it stretched to 10 minutes. So, I'm going to cut it off here. <laughs> so, there you go. You know, look this up. It, it'd be really nice if you could prove me wrong. But, unfortunately, I'm right. You know, and as I say with all the other videos, hope is a four-letter word. Hope is worthless. But, you know, if you can prove me wrong, you are hope itself. Prove me wrong. Be hope itself. Hope is an absolute lie. Hope is an absolute falsehood. And hope is entirely worthless because of that. But be hope itself and prove me wrong. There you go. So... I'm Astrological Geek. I once was silent, but now I speak. Come back for the next homeless video. Bye for now.